What's going on, guys? It's Found Spader here. And Colton Spade, dude. And today we're going to be reacting to the rubber. So make sure you go subscribe to him and hit the bell, turn on notifications, and let it react to some. Today we're going to be reacting to SCP. Can I pick? Let's react. Let's re okay, this is my first time I'll pick. This one's called SCP 3166. Gorefield. Who's Gorefield? Station. It's a. Uh, is he going to tell us? I stumble back, begin to run away as my fear catches in my throat, emerging as a strangled cry. I alternate between turning around and glancing back over my shoulder, desperate to escape, but unwilling to let the thing out of my sight. Hello that? everybody, I'm the rubber. Today we bring you SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object SCP-3166. SCP-3166 is a 2.1 meter tall humanoid entity, presumed pataphysical in nature, known to manifest during periods when the Garfield media franchise is performing poorly in terms of public reception. The exterior layer of SCP-3166's body resembles a crudely made costume of the character Garfield, which field inspection has shown to be composed of legitimate cat fur. However, analysis of SCP-3166's composition the in the field has shown that its interior it. mass is composed entirely out of pasta, That's specifically gross. lasagna. lasagna. SCP-3166 will appear in the vicinity of a suitable individual, hereafter referred yeah, to as the, the target, shadows. and move towards their location. Known targets of SCP-3166 have included that, individuals that, prominently involved in rival media to the Garfield franchise, individuals formerly involved in the production of the Garfield comic strip, individuals involved in parodies of the Garfield franchise, Garfield vocal franchise. critics of the Garfield Frank franchise, Jim and last Frank but not least, Garfield creator, creator Jim, Davis. Jim Davis. This has only occurred yeah. on occasions where the negative oh, reception my, um, Garfield was cold, receiving cold could be traced back to Mr. Davis's poor management of the franchise. Upon reaching its target, 3166 yeah, will attempt to inflict bodily harm ah. upon them through a mixture of blunt force using nearby objects and force feeding of lasagna. The lasagna was obtained through self-disembowelment. Okay, During this process, uh, SCP-3166 will vocalize by meowing, hurrying, and screeching in the manner of an extremely agitated cat. Lasagna outside SCP-3166's mass has proven to be an effective form of bait for 3166. Upon seeing the lasagna, SCP-3166 will abandon its original goal and instead attempt to incorporate the pasta into itself. SCP-3166 first manifested on the 23rd of October 1989 within the Chicago offices of United Media who were the publishers of the Garfield comic strip at the time. Upon manifestation, 3166 wandered around the offices in a confused... Wait, hold on a second. So... We're not So with SCP-3166, what... Come on, tell me. What is it? SCP-3166 is absolutely Garfield? And why would they make him to an SCP? Hmm... I don't know. Maybe... He didn't get any gar... He didn't get any lasagna. Yeah, I think Gar Gorefield didn't get any lasagna. And they started to make a cartoon as an SCP. ...and distressed manner, in before indiscriminately cartoons. assaulting any individuals present, after security attempted to <laughs> apprehend kind of it. It's kind of it funny. disappeared 20 minutes later. <laughs> Foundation that, that agents weird. responding to the situation distributed amnestics as appropriate. Like that, Over the course of the following out. week, similar <laughs> manifestations took place at several United Media <laughs> offices around <laughs> the, country, the country, ending on the 29th of October mm -hmm. 1989. Following that date, 3166 altered its behavior to its current form. The week of Garfield comic strips below, beginning on the 23rd of October 1989, was believed to be its pataphysical awakening. Day 1, the 23rd of October 1989. Garfield woke up from a sleep and felt an eerie sensation. As he was walking out of his room, he did not feel right, as if the place was not his own home. Day 2 the 24th the of October, 1989. He felt lonely because the house yep, was empty. John was not home, and so, so was, Odie. was Odie. Day three, the 25th of October, October 1989. 1989. Garfield thought to himself, John must be at the grocery. Oh. There was a for sale sign outside what? of his house, and the house looks like it had been abandoned for a long they time. 
Day 4, the 26th of October 1989. Garfield had the shock of his life. <laughs> if the house had been abandoned for a long time, it means that he has not lived there for many years. Mm. Day 5, the Thank 27th God. of October 1989. Garfield welcomed John and Odie, and they brought home his food. However, this was entirely Garfield's imagination. Garfield grappled with his greatest fear, loneliness. Day 6, the 28th of October, 1989. This strip started with a drawing of a horrified eye, and it wrote, After years of taking life for granted, Garfield is shaken. The Arto? Yeah, it's from Naruto, when they get like the, the red eye, the... The Shidori? No, 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 that's what... It, no, never mind. Just keep on watching the video. Okay, let's, I don't let's by a horrifying vision of the inevitable process called time. Garfield cried out, I don't want to be alone. Right. At the corner end of the comic strip wrote, an imagination is a powerful tool. It can tint memories of the past, shape perceptions of the present, or paint a future so vivid that it can entice or terrify all depending upon how we conduct ourselves today. Sometimes it gets terrifying. Initially, individuals involved with production it's of Garfield like, comic sure strips claimed to have no oh, memory yeah. on working on that week's strips. All researchers working on 3166 containment are to familiarize themselves on this material. Okay. Using tissue samples taken by Agent Mueller during SCP-316's okay. most recent manifestation, okay. well, yeah, genetic know, analysis of the meat present within the lasagna has shown it to be genetically identical to Garfield creator Jim Davis. The implications of this are currently unclear. However, during surveillance of Mr. Davis by containment teams, he has complained of severe mosquito bites in the night on a number of occasions immediately preceding 3166 manifestation. In order to contain 3166, the Garfield media franchise is to remain active and successful for as long as feasibly possible. Funding is to be provided to any Garfield Media <laughs> Ventures via Foundation front companies present in the comic and film industries. Agents embedded within Pulse Incorporated, which is the sole owner of the rights to Garfield, and Andrews McMill Syndication, primary distributors of the Garfield comic strip, are to place targeted mimetic agents in Alco and comic strip, encouraging the retention of a sizable Garfield fan base and discouraging Jim Davis from discontinuing Garfield. Agents are to monitor individuals at significant Garfield. risk of attack from 3166. That's bad. In the event of a 3166 yeah, manifestation, agents are no, to use supplied that. frozen <laughs> lasagna to lure 3166 away from its target and dispatch it <laughs> once out of public view. Any Just witnesses really are then to be administered amnestics as appropriate for their level of exposure. The below article is an associated tale written by I Am The Oga on the 30th of August of 2018. I walk down the street on my way home after a long night. It's not yet fully raining, but there's still a slight drizzle about. I put on my waterproof jacket, but while it keeps me dry, it does nothing against the chill of the quiet night air. The office wasn't a pleasant place today. Apparently, the strip isn't doing so well, and the numbers are going down. Being a new hire is rough, I cannot say that the fading popularity surprises me. It's been the same stale strip for years now. But apparently, some investors were really upset. Some suits were prowling around today, asking questions and taking names. I stopped for a minute, pulling out my phone to confirm a sneaking suspicion. Yep, I went the wrong way. I shouldn't be anywhere near the park. It is easy to get lost in the rain. I sigh and turn around. Resigning myself to another miserable 10 minutes of slogging through the rain. There is a figure in front, standing quietly under the street lamp. I stop again, mildly unsettled by this. I call out to him, asking if he is okay. But no response comes. Instead, the figure begins to plod forward, taking a step into the light. The baggy suit slumps and sags with each step. The matted orange fur too dirty to be slicked down by the rain. The lazy-eyed face is at an angle, crudely okay, propped up terrible. upon the head, swaying as it advances. It looks like the tail really drags in the puddles, only adding on to the stains already coating it, like it in the rest of the body. Costume. It raises the old baseball bat it carries, picking up speed. Oh no, I stumble coming. back, 
begin to run away as my fear catches in my throat, emerging as a strangled cry. I alternate between turning around and glancing back over my shoulder, desperate to escape, but unwilling to let the thing out of my sight. It thumps the bat against the fence as it runs, sickening the wax sounding with each blow. Too focused on the beast, I did not avoid the puddle, and my foot slides out from under me, sending me crashing to the ground. As the world whirls around me, seeing nothing but darkness and rain, a low, agonized meow sounds from above me, immediately followed by a crushing blow to the hip. I scream out in pain, but as I gasp for breath, a horrible, wet tearing noise fills the air accompanied by another guttural screech. Then a dripping, slimy mass is slammed into my face, and my monstrous okay, guys, assailant comment. begins yeah, forcing wait, wait, fistfuls stay, 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 more wait. down my throat. Okay. Man, I hate Mondays. Before we end this video, we are proud to present these incredibly sweet pieces. Alright. Okay guys, comment down below. Yep, comment Would down you below. eat that stuff coming out of Garfield's mouth? No. At, not at all. I would not, but comment down below. Alright. And yep. uh, don't forget to subscribe. Yep. Bye. Don't, yep. Bye guys. See ya.